circumstances of your life reveal about you. Because maybe for some of you, it's a daily habitual practice of sin. And maybe for the very first time, you're hearing tonight about Jesus, who came to set you free from that. And tonight he came, and tonight God can put his seed within you, and tonight you can get out of the wrong lane and stop causing hurt and lawlessness and pain and destruction to yourself and to those around you. And you can get in the right lane and start to be in love with God and in love towards those around you. But maybe for some of us, we've seen him, we've known him, but somehow, somewhere along the way, we were deceived. And tonight, the truth is springing up before us. We cannot deny the habitual practices of our sin. The fruit is being born, and it's time for us to recognize where it is. And tonight, to seek God in repentance and confession and forgiveness, because like those who have been before me and shared, we know that he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. We know that he is an advocate for us. And so we come to him and we surrender and lay those things down. It's a call. It's a hard call. But it's something we need to be daily challenged by and daily be reminded by. To live in love with God and towards one another. Let me pray. Father, we thank you for this night Father, we thank you for your word. Father, in Hebrews 4, you tell us that your word is living and active, that it is sharper than any double-edged sword, and that it lays us bare before you. Father, I pray that this message would lay us bare before you as we contemplate and think about what our daily habitual practices are revealing about us. Father, I ask that you would give us the strength to get out of the wrong lane if we need to. That you would give us the strength to seek repentance and confession, Father. Father, I pray that your love would be felt so lavishly upon us in this moment where maybe we feel so exploited as we reflect it on our actions, Lord, that your love would come in, that you would bring healing, that you would bring freedom, that you would bring deliverance here and now. Jesus, one day you will return. May that hope be the catalyst in our life to be a people that live in love with you and towards those around us. To be people not like Cain who brought pain and division and chaos and hurt into our own lives and those around us. But that we would seek to imitate you in the way you loved in such an unconditional such a sacrificial way. We love you, we praise you, and we thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.